Cuts. Cuts. And even more. Cuts. If you want to say that this intro is the same as in my previous video, no it's not. I have much more palettes in my hands and also I've done my brows. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome. My name is Eva and let's continue our adventure with ZC and products that they sent me recently. So again, I'm going to review another ZC Tipsy Kitty eyeshadow quad. This is palette number one, so milk tea and today's makeup will be as you can tell, pretty uh, neutral and uh, I think it will be soft. Besides this palette, I also have another mascara, color mascara, but this is not exactly color mascara. This mascara is full of glitter, so I will treat it as topper. I will apply my normal black mascara, wait till it dries and then I'll apply this one. So I think that you know already what we are going to do in today's video. Just in case if you haven't watched my previous video, then in my previous video I reviewed this palette, so number two. And also I'm just letting you know that on my channel you can also find three other <laughs> palettes. Number three, number four, and number five. So if you're interested, I'm going to leave link to the video in annotations and maybe in the description box. And by the way, don't forget that I have a discount code on ZC Cosmetics website. So EWA, my name, just my name, Eva, and this is 15% off your order on ZC Cosmetics website. And on this website, uh, ZC Cosmetics, cosmetics, but also Palace Identity, so ZC's sister brand. I hope you're ready. So I'm going to apply my P. Louise base, zoom you in. Meanwhile, you're going to see swatches and close-ups of this palette and mascara, and we can start. Today I want to create uh, more matte makeup, so I will limit myself with this shimmer, although I bet it's gorgeous, like any shimmer in these little palettes. But what's interesting, I've already noticed that in this palette there is only one true matte shade, and this is this brown shade. This shade looks more like a satin, and this beigey shade has some particles, so I think this makeup might be very interesting, because although I will try to keep it matte, it might be not matte at all. <laughs> I'll start, of course, with this beige shade. It has some little particles. I'm going to set my underbrow area with this shade. Oh yes, this beige is light enough. We'll see if these particles will stay on my skin or not. But for now, I will just set my underbrow area. As always, it's not necessary step, but I like it. And now I'm taking, of course, this brown shade. I'm going to apply it in my outer corner. By the way, what I like in these palettes is that this imprint is very hard to destroy, especially when you use brush. It's still there. It's really nice detail. So I'm applying this shade in my outer corner. Oh, this is nice. Although very, very light brown. It's slightly warm toned. This palette's name is Milk Tea and I think the name is pretty accurate. <laughs> it's a really nice shade, a little bit like tea rose. This shade is super light. It's not bad though. You know, these palettes are made to be like daily palettes for very quick makeup, so I'm not complaining. That's just a fact. This shade is super light. It looks more like transition shade, like something medium, more than the darkest shade in the palette. 
But for daily, very quick makeup, nice shade. And of course, as always, blending, pure pleasure. And right now I have the same feeling I had in my previous video, so for me, this is sufficient makeup. We're done here, I don't need to test every single <laughs> shadow from this palette. I don't know why, but these eyeshadows from these little palettes are so, like, delicate in a very good way. So I can build them up, but at the same time they blend gorgeously. Now I'm going to take this shade. So this is a shade that I think it's more satin and it seems like it's a little bit like mm, <laughs> peachy shade. I'm applying it on my whole eyelid. Yeah, definitely it's satin because I can see that it has some slight reflects. So it's not like, you know, flat matte shade. So definitely this is satin. Very nice satin, may I add. And the last shade is this, of course, shimmer. I'm going to apply it on my lower eyelid and maybe in my inner corner. Unfortunately, I'm applying it on other shades, but I hope it will stick to my eyelid anyway. As daily makeup, I really like it. Yes, I'm going to apply this shimmer also in my inner corner, but after I do my face, so far, I really like it, although it's slightly too light for me, so I add a slight little eyeliner wing. You know, it's nothing personal, it's not like this palette is not enough for me, it's just, you know, it's the difference, okay? Sometimes, Slight little element and that's enough. I have hooded eyes, so this little liner is very much enough. Now I'm going to finish my makeup, so I'll apply just normal mascara, I do my face and then I'll be back because I'm going to apply again this shimmer in my inner corner and also I'm going to apply this, this mascara. I am super, super curious how it will look like. Okay, so let's continue. I'm taking this shimmer. I'm going to apply it in my inner corner. It's really nice beigey shade with some peachy tones. Now let's test mascara. I am not sure what to expect, but my mascara dried, so I think that I'll treat it just a stopper and I hope that it won't mix with my black mascara, but we shall see. I'll try to stay in frame, although it's really difficult. My mascara dried and maybe that wasn't the best idea, but no matter, I will try to apply this glitter anyway. Maybe I'll apply it on my lower lashes and we'll see. Okay, so I did mistake. You should use it on wet mascara. I definitely feel that application on my lower lashes right now after I applied black mascara and this black mascara was still wet was much easier. Definitely. I'll add some finishing touches that I still lack in this makeup and I'll tell you my final thoughts. I have some. <laughs> I think I'm ready to tell you something about products I test today. Yes, of course, today's makeup will be with the accent on the lips because this is definitely... After previous video, this is definitely too daily. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the palette real quickly because my opinion about this palette is very similar to previous video. So, of course, I really like it. Of course, I think it's cute. Of course, it's so small that you can fit it in your pocket. And it's because of that also travel friendly. And hello, 
cats <laughs> plus 100 to being cool. <laughs> when we are talking about color story, these palettes are made to be just daily palettes. So four eyeshadows for very quick makeup, although you can really play with these eyeshadows as you wish. But I have to admit that this particular palette is the softest of them all. Absolutely, the softest one. I can't make this makeup more darker. I just cannot. This eyeliner is all I had. <laughs> it's not a minus, it's just a fact that among all these palettes that I've tested, so five Tipsy Kitty eyeshadow quad palettes in total, this is the softest, the most gentle one. This is like typical daily nude, neutral, maybe a little bit slightly war toned makeup. They are just safe. They are just super safe. And by the way, about this shimmer shade, I used it today also as highlighter because it's light enough. So I thought, well, why not? Although I am bigger fan of colorful makeups and especially more darker makeups, more, you know, just not soft makeups. I really enjoy this palette, I really like it and I will use it. Now let's talk about the last mascara I've got. This is mascara like a topper, I believe that on the website there are two of them. So uh, just check the description box, I will leave a link to this uh, mascara and also I'll tell you what shade I have. Uh, I think it's a topper, totally. It's not mascara itself. It doesn't have any color. It's just transparent gel with a lot, a lot of particles like glitters. However, I must admit that I don't see them. Well, maybe a little bit. Like, you know, you can see your lashes, if you know what I mean. So maybe a little bit. I can see that I have something on my lashes, but it doesn't bother me. It's not like I have big chunks of glitter on my lashes. It's not like that. When I see myself in the mirror, I see these little particles, this little glittery stuff all over my lashes. It's really interesting effect. I think it will be pretty cool for New Year's Eve and for, you know, such occasions because it looks pretty cool. However, it's not super noticeable, if that makes sense. Like, I am not sure if you can see it in camera from from this perspective, because I barely see it from my perspective under the camera I have a mirror and I barely see these little particles in the mirror. So it's not like it's a, you know, high beam. <laughs> it's really soft effect, but it's really interesting. I think that especially for matte makeup looks, this topper can really enhance eye makeup because it adds something to it. It's like, you know, something is going on on these lashes, but it's not like really brutal effect. And one important information about application, because I did a mistake, I shouldn't apply it on already dried mascara. Like this is topper, you should apply it on other mascara. It will be just better effect, but don't wait till your mascara dries. Just apply first layer of your black mascara or any other mascara and then apply the stopper. Because otherwise these little particles just don't want to uh, stick to lashes. I absolutely had better time with application of the stopper on my lower lashes than on upper ones, but overall I am pretty satisfied with the effect. And what's really nice is that these little glitters are so little that I don't see them and they are not heavy on the lashes. So that's very big plus. So once again, I uh, remind you about my discount code EWA on ZC Cosmetics website, 15% off. Of course, thank you so much again, ZC Cosmetics, for sending me this stuff. And down below in the description box, you can also find just my playlist with all ZC stuff that I've tested. So if you want to see, for example, reviews of these little palettes from number one to number five, <laughs> then just you can. <laughs> and I also have some stuff from Palace Identity too, so um, down below description box, uh, playlist also, here also this playlist will be somewhere in the annotations. <laughs> Tell me your thoughts about this uh, very interesting 
topper mascara with glitter. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you would try something like this. And that will be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I love you very, very much and I see you soon. Bye!